Alright guys, another episode of the Hard Game Spring Ball, guys. I haven't trained my neck in like nine days, I think now. So it's, that's not good. It's almost like two weeks, so we gotta make sure we train it later, if not for sure tomorrow. But today's just a regular workout day. Uh, I only got like around like four and a half to five hours of sleep. I had to wake up early to trade. So uh, yeah, in the morning since the market opens at like 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So yeah, I didn't go to bed till like almost 4 a.m. So yeah, we'll just do some little stuff, just get some blood flowing, a little stimulus, but nothing like too crazy. It's pretty nice outside. We could have gone to the park, did a workout there, did some deadlifts in the backyard, but yeah, I'm not trying to overexert myself and then, you know, I get injured or I just strain or just feel overly sore and I'll delay us in the future. So let's do some knee push-ups now. <clears throat> 11 reps. I'm gonna leave it there. Felt that really good in our chest. Wow, man. Yeah, I'm gonna do two more sets. I bring the chair down, do some push downs. If not, we'll just do some isolation for triceps. It's the breathing. I actually didn't fail there. Wow, okay. Do two more sets then. Yeah, the breathing is what failed us, man. Like, breathing out is the hard part. <clears throat> wow, one reset. I feel really good at the beginning there. We need much better hand placement. Yeah, it's all about just hand placements. That that's what di dictates the intensity, at least for me. Obviously, you know, the farther you go, the harder it's gonna be. Or actually, no, I lied. When you go uh, closer to your body, I think that's when it's harder. So you have to find like the sweet spot.
<laughs> the breath again, but I mean, our triceps were fatiguing, man. Let's go, guys. Oh, yeah, I don't think I'll do the tr the the bench dips off of the chair chair in the kitchen. Yeah, I'll just do some maybe three sets of pushdowns and uh, one set or one um, super set of over <laughs> of overhead tricep extension. I'm out of breath, man. I lied. Let's do one more set of this. I feel like we just have to do more stuff for our chest. We've been very, we've been lacking our chest. Triceps, I feel like we're in a good spot currently. So we can sacrifice a bit of the training to go to the chest. Plus, I mean, you still work in the triceps and you do push-ups. Especially if you have weak triceps, it's going to take over. Since it has to strengthen it just naturally. <clears throat> wow. Maybe I'll do one more set or we just go with triceps or shoulders. Alright, this should be the last set. I think this is like six sets right here. And we'll just go straight to shoulders. We'll we'll leave triceps for another day. <clears throat> if I can push ourselves back up, all good, man. That was a great success. <laughs> what did I just say? That was a great success for our push ups there. And hopefully, we'll be able to do regular push ups by like maybe realistically end of May, early June. And I set the goal to do pull-ups by, like, end of April, or, like, early May. <laughs> it's, it's already April 22nd as I'm recording this. Yeah, we've gone to the park in, like, a month, so, like, the workout. All right, let's do some overhead press with some loud raises and get on to doing the pulling. And maybe I'll do some leg stuff after, if not, I'll do it off camera or on my rest day tomorrow. Because, yeah, it's just a bit too much, in my opinion. But uh, since I also don't, don't have, I'm a bit tired, not much sleep. I feel good to be honest. There's some days like you guys can probably relate where you get bad sleep, but you still feel like refreshed and awake and just like energized. After you get the after you get like past, you know, the first like 10, 15, 20 minutes of waking up feeling just like dead tired, you feel good for the rest of the day and then you'll probably crash in the nighttime, which I mean that's it's kind of a good thing to uh, you know, get less sleep if you wanna change your sleep schedule so then you force your body to be tired earlier than usual and then you'll just go to bed on a better time and enough enough yapping let's do some shoulders all right 15 pounds you guys know the deal Seven. Wow.
seven. Whew. Yeah, maybe fifteen. I don't know. I I think it's good because it allows us to do less reps, meaning like a shorter workout. I think like twelve pounds is probably a sweet spot. So, I mean, we could drop five pounds and just put two point five pounds instead, but it's all good. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to drop the weight by uh, five pounds. Uh, I'll add a two pound dumbbell or something. Or, sorry, two and a half pound plate from this 10 pound dumbbell. And, uh, yeah. I just dropped some water bottles. So, yeah, it's a bit easier. You can definitely feel it's easier. Gosh. Let's go. Come do some low races now with eight pounds. And uh yeah. A little crack on my left side, the rotator cuff, I think. No way. All right, let's go. Man, it seemed hard, guys, but yeah, I'm exhausted, man. You definitely feel that. Plus, you know, like I said earlier, they get much sleep. You don't have to go too intense on days where you don't sleep good. Always not the smartest. All right, let's do some uh, pull stuff now. Let's go.
my gosh. I think that was almost like 10 reps. <sighs> yeah, we felt that good. Our lats were kind of hurt, was kind of hurting a bit because I did some yesterday on the off day on Sunday. I think I did a bit too much, but it's all good. <clears throat> wow biceps failed first <sighs> yeah when we make it harder since our biceps have to catch up we feel it more in there than our back we still feel in your back as well like, yeah I, I still feel it <sighs> one or two more sets <laughs> Okay, I think I'm going to leave it there for the lat focus rows. I'm going to do some face pulls now. We're going to do more sets of that. Maybe some isolation for biceps. Some sets of that with for some bicep curls. And uh, yeah, I might do some squats or just some lunges afterwards. My phone's at 10%. It's going to be close. Let's go. Our right, one more set. <sighs> isolation curls and uh, not isolation, but you know what I mean. Bicep curls, isolate the bicep. And uh, yeah, I might do some lunges, but I'll do that off camera since we're running low on battery. And I'll just show us maybe some calf raises afterwards. I'll see. Wow. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Right, let's do some bicep curls now. Wow. All right. It's like maybe 13 pounds. Drop like one water bottle. 
one or two, I think. Eight reps. Wow. Oh, God, make sure you squeeze the bicep. A reps. I think eight or nine. Did more than the right side for sure. One more set and we're done. All right, last set. Seven reps. I was like right before failure. No way. I think that was six. All right, guys. Let's do either. Yeah, let's do some leg stuff now. All right, guys. I'm gonna do some forearm stuff before we do the legs. I don't know if you got. I don't know if I'll have the legs up because yeah, my phone's literally at three percent. This is right after after the bicep curl. Yeah, I'm gonna do some rollers. I have this band on right here. Really, just step onto this. There we go. Literally, just do this. <clears throat> Reverse. Oh. <clears throat> wow. <clears throat> oh my gosh. I right, one more set of that. It may not look hard, guys, but trust me, when you try that, it's hard, man. Wow. The hard on the left side compared to the right. <sighs> Reverse. Let's go.
Oh my gosh. Let's go. That's it for the video, guys. If y'all did enjoy, be sure to like and also subscribe, guys. Thank you so much for watching, guys. God bless. Catch y'all next video. Peace.